The experts at Virginia Tech say that against Omicron, cloth masks just aren't doing the job. News reporter Anthony Sabella is here with us now for a closer look at the latest research. Anthony, what are they saying? Hey, good morning. Well, here in Norfolk, you know, you take a walk down Granby Street and you're going to see masks of all different kinds, different colors, different designs. A lot of them, this cloth variety right here. But those experts at Virginia Tech are now saying cloth masks actually aren't that effective against the Omicron variant specifically. Now, Dr. Lindsay Marr is a researcher at Virginia Tech. She works in the Department of Civil and Environmental Engineering and studies how viruses move through the air. She says a typical cloth mask is actually only about 50% effective against COVID-19, which was considered, I guess, good enough for earlier versions of the coronavirus. But because Omicron is just so much more transmissible, she says respirators like N95s and KN95s are a much better option now. Just make sure they fit. What you need is to have a good seal, especially around your nose, and you want to make sure there aren't gaps at the sides of your cheeks or at your chin. Now for kids, Mar says choose something that's comfortable. That's really important as well. But keep in mind, N95 specifically aren't designed for young children, so you'll have to use a different respirator, which will be just fine. Uh, she also says those three three ply surgical masks, like this one that people have, uh, work pretty well against protecting against infected droplets. So that's another another thing to consider. Just make sure again that they are tight to your face. Now, of course, some of those respirators, N95s, KN95s, you know, we've heard throughout the pandemic. Oh, you know, they're in short supply. We can't find them. Uh, I did a search on Amazon for KN95s just before this, just to make sure. And I did find several options available to ship right now. So that should be or could be something that you could consider as we continue to fight this Omicron variant here in Virginia. We're live in Norfolk. Anthony Sabella, News 3.